friends and welcome back. Or if you're new here, then just welcome. Today we're making a Knight's Chow from the Sonic Adventure games. The pattern for this plush will be linked in the description below, so let's get started! First off, I got this printed fabric from Spoonflower. You can get printed Minky or use another technique to get the color changes that I'll mention later. For now, let's cut this. And I'm going to start by flipping each piece over and drawing my pattern down on the back so I know where to sew. Taking these arm pieces, I'm going to sew the darts together. Once the darts are sewn, align two arms right sides together and sew around leaving the top open. For the feet, also align them together, sew over the top and down the back. Then we're going to line it up with the bottom of the foot and sew all around. Align the tail pieces right sides together too, and sew around leaving the top flat bit open. Now turn the tail right side out with the trusty hemostats. Sew the darts together on the front body piece. The back body is a little different. We're gonna sew down, skip the dart, and continue to the bottom. This is where we put the tail, in between this dart on the butt. Just sew it right across. Look how cute! Now we can align the front and back body pieces together, but I want to sew the limbs in between the seams. So I'll have to match up the arm with these lines. I'll also match the feet with these lines on the bottom. You can match up the top shoulders and the seams on the bottom while tucking the limbs inside. I went ahead and stuffed the body. It's really hard to sew all this, so you can keep a hole in the arms and stuff them later. Like this. For the wings, I'll align them and place a piece of quilt batting underneath. Then sew all three layers together. This gives the wings some volume and sturdiness. 
Cut all the excess fabric after you've sewn everything and make sure to leave a hole for turning right side out. The body is done now, so I'll place the wings on how I like and sew them up with a ladder stitch. Now it's time to embroider the face! You can also use hand embroidery or applique. Special technique! Stitch a line down the middle and pull one side over the other. Now to sew the horns. Align each horn to each divot on the head pieces, easing to fit. Sew the back head pieces together. The front of the head was already sewn from the embroidery machine. Now let's line up the front and back head. You can match up the seams all around, make sure the stripes are lined up too, and then pin the rest. This part's a bit tricky because the horns are pitched back and not completely even. I'm gonna clip my seams all around. I was gonna make another body to show this, but I lost a piece of it, so I couldn't, but you can also sew the limbs on via ladder stitch. Now we just need the dot for his head. Simple four diamond sphere. Sew this edge together and this edge together. Now match up the seams and sew around, leaving a hole on the bottom. Turn right side out and stuff! I'm just gonna place it on his head and sew it down, also with a ladder stitch. 
You can use wiring or plastic to make it float if you want to. I'm just a little too lazy for that. Now, the technique I mentioned that I would talk about at the beginning. First of all, I increased the pattern 150% here, and the instructions for scaling are on the PDF. So you can just cut along these lines, which make up the stripes. I'll cut those out. And these fit together. And cut them out in your fabric. And this is very important. You'll need to add seam allowance to each of these pieces, so don't forget to do that. And here's the finished piece. So that's it. Once again, the pattern will be linked below. It is free, but tips are greatly appreciated. The link to this printed fabric will also be in the description. And you can also check out my website for even more patterns and plushies. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, then don't be a stranger. Bye bye now.